Well, uh, I was at MIT as an undergrad, and then I, I discovered that you know a lot of renewable energy needs uh, power conversion. So if you work in power electronics, uh, then you can work with solar, with wind, with thermal photovoltaic and many other applications. And as a bonus, you also get to work with things like electric vehicles and uh, renewables and, and grid storage. So that's when I discovered, you know what, this, and it was fun. It was working with circuits, it was working with uh, electromagnetics, control. You have to understand a lot of the EE curriculum to work with power. You can of course focus on certain parts of it. In my, in my group, I maybe focus more on, on some circuit topology and control methods, but you have to understand what switch you're working with. And also at the high level, there's, there's room for someone that likes to work with FPGAs, digital, digital controllers. There's a lot of fun things you can do that weren't really conceivable maybe 10, 15 years ago. It was just too complicated. And now you can get really a sophisticated control on a small you know, microcontroller that we didn't think were possible. Well, I have a 15 graduate students. They all work on very, very exciting projects. We have a, two projects funded by NASA looking at future electric aircraft. So NASA identified as really the two key obstacles to electric aircrafts is actually lightweight electric machines and lightweight power conversion. So that's an interesting challenge to make a, in this case, a 99% efficient uh, inverter that, that uh, is uh, powered at say 20 kilowatts per kilogram is extraordinarily challenging. But what's exciting about it, if we succeed, there's an application that we can make happen that today doesn't exist. I think the, the big challenge if you compare to the earlier days, you know, you're not really gonna just build the power converter these days. They tend to be application specific, but it's oftentimes it's in a system. So it's how does your converter interact with other systems, uh, whether that's your source or batteries or your, or your lows, if it's, you're talking microgrids, it becomes a more complicated um, system level challenge. So a lot of researchers are moving into power electronic systems rather than just building a converter. I think uh, electric aircraft is one area where better power conversions can have a, a really step change in what you can do. We already see electrification take hold in all other vehicles, you know, boats and ships, where you need a step change is in things that fly. So certainly I think electric aircrafts, but also I'm excited to follow what happens with, um, with drone technology. And that will, they will require uh, power conversion. You know, there's a number of exotic fuels, if you will, and that's a system where I think you can put a power converter in there and make things a lot better.